Hello, Steve Gibbon back here with part two of Task Publishing in Teams. In the last part of this, we looked at our hierarchy for what we're going to set up to publish tasks out. Now, as a quick recap, this is going to have marketing, health and safety team at the top. There's going to be two sets of area managers, north and south, and then we've got our stores that sit underneath it. Teams are already set up, app set up policies, publishing those apps out to folk. Now I'm going to go over to PowerShell and let's get started making this a reality. So PowerShell, hello, my old friend. I've connected PowerShell in advance. This is using the preview module. So it's got that correct uh, team target, uh, team targeting hierarchy uh, commandlets. And I'm going to use the get team commandlet to get the teams. And first of all, you'll see the output on screen. Now, the output on screen isn't what we're going to copy and paste, but you're going to see what I'm going to export to PowerShell. So I'm going to get team and I'm going to pipe this into select object and I'm going to pick display name and group ID. And then I'm going to pipe that to export CSV. Uh, that's going to be for that team list.csv and no type information. All right, that's going to be ready. Let's use in Excel in just one second. And let's open that up. Start team list.csv. Open Excel. Brilliant. Magic. Now, I'm going to add a few more columns here. So, right, first of all, my group ID. Um, that needs to change to team ID. Why? I don't know, but it's the same thing. Uh, and then I've got my parent name. That's going to be my parent teams. Uh, that's going to be, that's the basic of my hierarchy. Uh, and then I'm going to have uh, my filtering attribute. And this is going to be my store type. Then I'm going to have my buckets and buckets. Well, why wouldn't they use hashtags? So hashtag promotions. Now they won't show with promotions. This is all just weird CSV column formatting that Teams then takes in, strips off the hashtag. Not everybody has to use a hashtag. It's just so it knows what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket and what looks more like a bucket than a hashtag. Uh, compliance. Um, shop floor and back office now because I like things to look easy to see then just made that slightly easier so you can see what's going on here and my store type I've got two flagship stores uh, according to those diagrams in part one of this so flagship and whoop, let's copy that and then paste that. Of course, the other one will be London. Um, I'm going to do a bit of cleanup as well. My management team shouldn't be in here. And then I've got my parent names. So I've got the North. So Milton Keynes is not in the North. All right, the North. Let's have a look. Edinburgh, Durham and Manchester are definitely in the North. And then in the south, we've got Milton Keynes. That is definitely in the south of England and the UK. Southampton and, well, London is definitely there as well. And now what we need to do is take some of this text, marketing, and then my north and south area managers, they need their two parents each, uh, which is going to be marketing. And I'll do a semicolon there to split it up. And health and safety. Copy and paste. There we go. Now, let's pop that into there. And that's our structure, right? It's all pretty simple. So, display name, parent name, team ID was group ID. My store type, flagship, those are the flagship stores. Edinburgh and London. Promotions, bucket, compliance, shop floor, back office. Those are our buckets. I'm going to save that. And... Now we're ready to publish it. So set team targeting hierarchy. Then we need the file name. So the file, the attribute, uh, the parameter file path needs to be um, a full 
path. It can't be relative. So team list dot CSV. Hit enter. We'll send that to the clerk. And then once it's done that, get team targeting hierarchy status. That's going to tell us whether it's published or not. So hit enter. Successful. Now we're going to be ready to go over into the clients and see how that works. So join me for part three where we're going to do that.